Hi guys, it's me. So I hope you guys are doing well. So um, this video is gift ideas for the artists and crafters in your life. Um, so I wanted to include um, just some gift ideas maybe that um, maybe you haven't thought of um, that'd be great for the gift lover, the artist or creative in your life. So hopefully you get some great ideas here. So I am going to um, do this um, through my webcam, um, but you'll be able to see my desktop. Okay, so um, the first one that we're going to start out with um, that I think is a great idea to give to someone um, is online classes. Now, I don't think that you should have to spend like hundreds of dollars um, to give someone an online class. Alyssa Burke, um, she is an amazing artist and I absolutely love her and I love her philosophy on art being accessible to everyone. So in service of that, she has developed a ton of online classes um, that are very reasonably priced because there's times that I will go to like an artist's website and I'm like, oh, this is so cool. I totally want to take an online class for them. And it's like $200 or $100 and I'm like okay well do I buy groceries or do I take this online class you know and online classes are a little different than purses than classes in person because you don't have access like you know you have you can email back and forth that kind of thing um, to the teacher like you do with in-person classes so um, I definitely don't want to pay $200 for an online class where maybe I'll have questions or something like that and I know everyone has to earn a living but I really appreciate and love Alyssa's philosophy on art being approachable for everyone and an online class is such a wonderful gift to give to the artist and crafter in your life um, just because um, I think that we need to push ourselves constantly as artists and you need to try techniques and you need to be um, a curious and not and be unafraid and that kind of thing so affordable online classes is such a great gift um, to give to someone maybe because we all get in creative funks and sometimes you just need um, to have fresh things or just to um, see things done in a different way so I think online classes are really a great tool and a great gift to give to the art lover in your life. So Alyssa's online classes are absolutely wonderful. She hosts them on a private blog. Um, she has lots of colorful pictures and the best part is that hers are totally affordable. I mean like she and they're great they're great classes. It's not like, you know, it's like horribly videoed, you know, not good quality videos. You know, she gives you um, just beautiful content um, for the price that you pay. So um, I will give you links to her website. But I'm totally am not like sponsored or anything like that. I just love her philosophy and it's a philosophy that I believe myself. Like I don't think that art should cost a million dollars, you know, and fine if that's your belief, but it's not mine. So I just love her philosophy and, you know, how approachable she makes things. So if you go on here, you'll see um, her classes. I think she has like 50 classes, probably more. I've taken about four or five of them just because they're reasonably priced and they're great value. Um, so she has none of her classes are priced over $50, which I think is wonderful. Um, so this one you get like a bundle. So she gives you all four of these classes for $50. Um, but I mean, her lowest price class is $15, but she constantly, if you're on her Instagram, she puts them on sale, you know, at least three or four times a year, at least. And there's sometimes where she'll be like, okay, all the floral classes are $10 for like 24 hours and you come and you get them and it's super simple. You get a link to um, the private um, page and you get to watch her her make her beautiful art so there's like mono printing magic and it's so colorful and vivid and she has so many ideas for you to use um, so there's a bunch of different price ones so this is like textured adventures and that's like $15 and for Black Friday she had all of her uh, classes were like cut in half so um, there was like photo play, I, well maybe not half, but like the $15 were ten for $10, the um, $30 classes were like $20, so there was some great stuff. So I got a couple of um, journaling classes and then I had the like the some of her floral classes from before, like watercolor florals. So she has like 
painting bliss, which shows you she loves to work big and very, um, I just love her style. So this is cut and create. So it's how to like recycle your artwork. And that's a pretty fun one. But she has a ton of them. I mean, if you like watercolors, you could do a watercolor um, resist or wash tape. And then she has all these bundles. So it's great. And the best thing too, is that you can, you know, put in the person that you want to, you could put in their email address and it'd be sent to them. Um, but what she also has, which I think is fabulous is that you can do vouchers. So if I wanted to purchase a $50 class for someone, um, I could send them a voucher and then they could kind of pick whatever class they wanted. So that kind of takes the guessing out of it unless you know specifically which class they want. So, I mean, there's a ton. There's like graffiti. Um, she has like a free motion one. She has one with faces that I've heard is really good. So it's a really fun and affordable um, and beautiful gift to give to someone. So I definitely do that. I think that that'd be fun. And on that same kind of thing, another site that you can go to is um, Cloth paper and scissors, they have a shop. So if you go to their website and you go to shop, you can go to their digital videos. Now how I got here is that you go here, then you go to digital products, and then you go down here to digital videos. Okay, so let me show you. You can go to, I'm doing mixed media because that's what I'm interested in, but they have it in every category for jewelry, for knitting, for beading, for crocheting, any kind of thing that you want. But I love, um, <laughs> mixed media so that's what I'm going to show you so you could do ebooks let's see that so these are kind of online books um, that you know you can get for a bunch of different prices you know you can pay 20 bucks for a really nice kind of online book um, but what I love to do is that you can go to their digital products you can do art lessons which is really great and sorry, excuse me. <laughs> um, and they have all these different classes that you can do. They're kind of like mini classes. Um, so they focus usually on one topic, but they're really good bang for your buck and you download them instantly. So um, you just take it, you put it in your cart and you can send it to your email um, or send it to the person's email that you want to give it to. And you have this fabulous art lesson um, that you know, is such a great value. <laughs> so I love it. So there's a ton of them. There's, you know, I think um, there's like adding books to collage, adding stitching to artwork. I mean, um, just so the final touch, that could be interesting. Um, sometimes they have reviews, um, nature stamps, like there's just a ton of things. There's um, all sorts of stuff. I think I took one of um, Ray Missinger's, um, I think I did journals with texture and it's $3.99. It's awesome. So it's such a great deal. So these are kind of the mini art lessons, but um, if you wanted to spend a little bit more for your loved one, then you could go down here to digital videos. And this is kind of where you get into the really good stuff, right? So I took an acrylic painting um, class and it was like a two hour workshop just awesome like very cool good instruction they tell you the products that they're using really fun and um, you download it and you have it for life so it's really awesome but they have them here so you could do like um, painted blossoms the companion um, you could do like tear glue paint and draw so these are um, techniques for creating um, collage and it's an it's a download so you get access to it so you if you wanted to get your loved one something like that you could and as I said I think that art lessons and art classes are so important to being an artist just you get to see other people's style you get to experiment um, it's a way to kind of overcome writer's block um, and you can do it as an affordable price I mean I'm just I just can't imagine even if I had a whole bunch of money paying like four or five hundred dollars for an online class I think that's like craziness but there's affordable options for people. And if you want to give the artist in your life something really nice, um, then I think this is the way to do it. Okay. So another kind of on that same kind of note, you can also do a monthly subscription for the person um, that for 
online classes. Um, this one is called Creative Bug. Let me go to the beginning of theirs. And they are a really great and affordable site. They do all sorts of different classes. I mean, there's art and design, sewing, quilting, paper, that kind of thing. And it's super cheap. Um, my subscription is $5 a month. But if you go to Joanna's, you can get a couple months free. Um, I think for their classes, they have new classes every month. Um, and it's just lots of really fun techniques. Um, and I really love them. I think that it's a really great value. Um, and the teachers are absolutely amazing on this channel. Um, yeah, I kind of wish that they had some more diversity kind of in their content. Um, but I mean, there's a ton of stuff. And it's just because like, I'm a crazy person and I'll be up, you know, <laughs> like, like, watching tons of videos so I'm kind of crazy but they do like daily challenges um, so let's kind of go in I'll show you here so they have classes for beginning you can do multi-part classes quick classes you can do technique classes so let's go into mixed media and I'll kind of show you some stuff okay so they do like a weekly show that you can watch for free which is really interesting but they have like doodling which was a live class um, this is actually one of their classes um, so this is art journaling with gelatos let's go in that one okay so you press play and all of them have multiple parts normally to the classes so it's really cool you can do all the different chapters so it kind of breaks it down um, they have a gallery so you can see the artwork of the artist and then you can upload your artwork too which is really fun they answer questions it's just a fabulous site and five dollars for if you wanted to buy someone like a six month subscription or a year subscription I think that it's a really great gift um, that they will love so I totally love it they have contests all the time it's really a great site um, with tons of cool stuff you can do inspiration so um, you let they meet let you meet the instructors they have a blog you can do class collections there's just a ton of things that you can do and when you sign up it's really cool you get to add things to your library so this is my library I'll share it with you and this is the class that I have in there <laughs> <laughs> intuitive painting which I haven't tried but I'm so excited to try it and this is mine no matter what so even if I was to stop paying for my subscription I get this um, to which is awesome I get this to keep I can come back and watch it anytime I want so I think that that's awesome <laughs> So that's awesome. Plus you can save classes and add watch lists and that kind of thing. So these are ones that I've completed too. So it's fun. I love it. And a lot of um, different techniques I get to try out just for my own personal art and I love it. So I think that art classes and art subscriptions are just awesome to give to someone. Um, I'm trying to think, I know Brave Girls University has one. Um, I like Creative Bug better. I just think that, um, and their focus is a little bit different than Creative Bug. It's all about self-discovery and self-healing, that kind of thing. Um, but uh, I, uh, I think I got one month free and then I paid for another month. Um, but, you know, it wasn't, it just wasn't my cup of tea. They're amazing women. They have, you know, a beautiful mission, but um, I needed more art to feed my soul. <laughs> So I wouldn't personally recommend that one. Maybe you guys have had a different experience, but the founder is absolutely amazing. Um, super fun. And then um, which other one? There's a ton of them out there. There's Craftsy. I think they're overpriced for the content that they have too. I think it's like $25 a month. I think that's ridiculous. Um, but again, that's just my own personal preference. <laughs> so yeah, but I think that Creative Bug is the best one just my personal thing. So we have art classes, art class subscription, that kind of thing. So next category will be um, magazine subscriptions. I think magazine subscriptions are great for the artists in your life. There's a ton of different artist magazines out there. There's magazines for card makers, for mixed media artists, for art journalers. So there's just a ton of different things. There's green crafts if you have a person that likes to recycle in their lives. And the subscriptions are not 
you know, that expensive. Um, usually you can do like a three month or a six month one. Sometimes they have deals. Um, I remember that for one Christmas, um, my big sister, she got me one to cloth paper and scissors and I got like three issues and it was so wonderful getting it. I was so happy and I thought what a wonderful gift um, to give me. So that was pretty awesome. So um, I would personally do cloth, paper, scissors. It can be a little bit expensive if you're buying it off the rack. Um, so I just think it's wonderful if you want to give the artist in your life something wonderful like that. So that's kind of an option too. And I will put links to all the things that I'm talking about. The next thing that I think would be awesome for the creative in your life would be to go to their Amazon page and to look at their wish list because most of us have wish lists on Amazon, right? So this is mine. It's public. So anyone can go in there and kind of see. And I'm a hard person to shop for. Like, I'm so not into like anything really except for art, <laughs> like clothes and that kind of thing. I mean, it's nice to, or perfume. It's nice to get that stuff, but I really love art and art supplies and art books and that kind of thing. That's kind of my, my thing right now. <laughs> so I love it. Um, so I have here just a list of things that I could use, you know, for my YouTube. So like there's, you know, all sorts of stuff, remote controls for the cameras, um, SD cards. Um, there's a camera, kind of my dream camera. Um, I have like fine liner applicator bottles. I just put in the scan and cup. Maybe one day I'll get one of those, but kind of whatever your wishes are. I have printers, scanners. I have um, backup, external um, drives, that kind of thing. I have like watercolors, just anything when I'm kind of looking or I want to learn about a product, I will stick it in my wish list. And um, yeah, so people can go on here and kind of see the things that I would like to try and maybe they'll order them for me, like my friends um, or family for Christmas or for holidays or anytime. Another great thing um, that I love to buy people is books. I love art books. Again, it's like, oh, there's so much useful and amazing information that you can get from them. You can even do like digital books, which I think is a really great option, but like these are some of the ones that I want. I'm totally into abstract painting right now, so um, I'm very curious about it. So this is by Jane Davies, and it's great if you kind of know like what the person likes, um, you can totally um, do it that way. So that's awesome. Okay, <laughs> so you can go here. You see that she only has hers and paper book back. But if I go to like Dana Winkley, I can do her books, right? So these are a list of all her books. So you can get a Kindle version for $11.99. So for $11 or even I've seen them for like $3.99, you can get someone a book and it can be delivered to their Kindle or their device. Um, and it's just awesome and it's a great gift to give to someone and they learn new techniques for the whole year to come and it's just a great gift. So books are always awesome and you can great great prices on Amazon and you can really find what they want if you go to their wish list or if you know the name of the artist that they really expect respect. Lots of artists now have books so that's a great thing to do. So books, you can look at their wish list. Um, even if you just get someone a stencil or stamp that they've been wanting, I think that's a wonderful gift for an artist, you know, or paper. Maybe they've been saying, oh, I want to try watercolor. Maybe you can get them a pack of watercolor paper, which is not that cheap. So I think maybe we need to think outside of the box when it comes to creative gifts for crafters and artists. So I'm going to stop here. <laughs> Oh, I have to give my voice a rest and I'm going to take a drink or something <laughs> of tea or something. Um, so I hope that I gave you some really great ideas um, for the loved ones in your life. I'm sorry that the videos have been kind of slow. This is just my busy season. November and December are just crazy, but I do have the next couple weeks off. I'm not going to be teaching any classes. Um, so I will try to crank out some more videos. Thank you so much to my patrons for your patience with me. You guys are awesome. I'm so sorry. I will get a couple more videos out for you guys um, next week. Um, so that should be fun. And I hope that you enjoyed this. Please let me know what your favorite gift 
idea is for the artist or creative in your life, or maybe what you would like to get as an art or artist or creative or a crafter. So hopefully I gave you some ideas. Um, if you guys have any questions, let me know. I will put links um, to all the things that I'm kind of talking about um, to give you some ideas. And if you have any questions, let me know. Hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. Happy shopping. Bye bye. Oh, and the great thing about Amazon is that you can ship it to the person with a gift receipt. So if you buy them a physical thing, I love it. You don't even have to like bother like mailing it to them or anything. They will deliver it to the person, which is awesome. I've done that before. Um, one of my friends, he loves um, to do color pencil art. So I send him a set of, col of colored pencils and some um, paper um, just because he was having a hard time. And um, he had cancer, which thank God he's in recovery, but it was, he was so happy and it, you know, it didn't cost me very much and it was free delivery and it got delivered to him. So I just think that it's a wonderful gift. Um, if you know someone that's creative to really think about what you're going to get for them and maybe not just get a gift certificate, but maybe, um, get them something extra special. Okay guys. So I'm going to stop talking. That's it. Have a wonderful day and I will see you guys later. Bye bye.